studying runes and tarot in the Menshikova school. I would like to repeat myself once again regarding the tarot and rune systems. You will only find such strict admission requirements in my school, because we treat runes and tarot not as a source of mantic or source of information, but as instruments of magical transformation of consciousness. And this means that our demands that we ask of people whom we guide through this magical system are very significant and high regarding the requirements that apply to ruin specifically. Inclusion into another religious egregore. I have no desire, not even a little bit, to pay off the debts of my students who come to me to study runes while having arrears, because I, as a teacher, take responsibility for these students. Therefore, I will have to deal with the Christian egregore myself, protecting my students. Think about it. Do I need that? Do I really need that? No, I don't need it. This is why I impose my conditions quite harshly. If you are an Orthodox believer, if you are a Christian, I will not accept you to the ruined course without any question. Regarding tarot, that is another conversation. Tarot does not contradict that system. One can easily work with tarot being a Christian. But again, according to my school's rules, you cannot study runes and tarot simultaneously. I just spoke of the reasons. Because they are completely different systems, and they will stretch a person, their consciousness, in two separate directions. Someone with an unprepared consciousness will receive more harm than good. Again, in that case, the responsibility would fall on me. No. Just no. Without question. Therefore, if you want to study a system in my school specifically, then be so kind and abide by the rules. If you think that these rules would be impossible to follow, there's nothing terrible about it, because there are a great number of other schools that don't impose such demands. Their teaching is not as in-depth. They give surface-level knowledge. They teach mantics, they teach diagnostics, they teach to read information using runes. They let neither runes nor tarot enter deeply into one's consciousness to make a certain transformation. Any transformation is irreversible. You won't be able to rewind it. It's a one-way ticket. This must be understood as well. There are schools that don't do this sort of thing. Thus, a contact with ruins or tarot through those systems will be completely harmless, and it will in no way have an impact on the foundations of your worldview. Studying in my school will have an impact, and quite a significant one. Therefore, it is better that you think 20 times before engaging. The door to my school opens only from the outside. It won't open to you from the inside. It will open from the inside only on the other side of the path where you will be exiting from if you come in once you make it to the finish, at least with tarot and runes. Everything else you are free to choose. You can begin from any point, you can end at any time. It does no harm because it helps develop your consciousness and it develops you as a person, an individual in society. And this does not hurt your worldview. But when you join a magical practice, you begin to interact with the world in a slightly different manner. Not just as a biological creature, not as a social creature, but as a creature included into a magical potential. And that is a different degree of responsibility. Because your word, your thought, gains characteristics of a command for this world, and commands must be followed. And if you are unfamiliar with your own self, if you allow yourself to straddle both worlds, to serve two gods, then your command will cause distortion to this world. Not pathologically beyond recognition, but it's just there will be a big mess for me and my colleagues to clean up after you. We try not to make messes. Not too much.